All right, gotcha, Bam. All right. Bye. I'll save. All right, bye. Um, could you guys hear me clearly? All right, everybody. We are officially live. Anyway, what is going on, everybody? This is your Angerbirds NASCAR fan, the Blue Jimmy 48 fan here, and welcome to race number three of the Core League. Welcome to the Martian Sock Puppet 400K at the Charlotte Rovo. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. But, I mean, the sponsor paid us $12, so I have to say it regardless. But, anyway, um, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to race number three. And this is uh, my second broadcast uh, that I'm doing for the season. And uh, this one I'm actually really excited for tonight to be doing. Um, not only because it's the Charlotte Roval, but, um, you know, possibly all the madness that might unfold uh, with with everything, with, you know, with everything that's going to happen tonight. So, uh, real quickly, uh, to start off tonight's, uh, to start off tonight's broadcast, um, I'm going to point out the draw. I'm once again going to to just briefly explain. Um, I have PDD and OS autism, so um, if you guys don't, if you guys don't know, so it's so some of the things I may say on this broadcast might be interpreted just a little bit differently. So bear with me on that. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's first off let's. Let's say who the let's talk about who the who will not be starting out tonight. As you guys saw, probably from the countdown to green just not too long ago, um, with Jack Krause, aka NASCAR and MBK. By the way, go subscribe to him. He is such an awesome, awesome YouTuber, and he's a great contributor to this league. But anyway, the drivers who are not going to be starting tonight, and this is a whole slew of drivers. We got a lot of drivers not competing tonight. We have, I believe, five drivers um, not competing. Uh, we have the 21 of Keelan Wilson, a.k.a. Seed Games. We have the 66 of Michael Cozy Jr., WinVal8820. Um, the 78 of Ray Jacobs, Kamikaze Games. He will also not be competing. Daniel Baldwin, um, Danny, Danny B. Talks. Um, like he said, he tweeted it out last week that he is not going to be he's not going to be competing in this race. And and um, also the other driver that I was breaking about in my show, One More Quarter. Um, on the Blue Jimmy 48 fan YouTube channel, Jonathan Ramos, aka IDK player. Unfortunately, he has baseball from what I'm hearing. So, um, so yeah, not a lot of drivers are good. Uh, so we have quite a few heavy hitters who are who are not going to be competing tonight. And this is surely going to change up the point standings after after um tonight. So right now we have qualifying happening right now. Um. And soon, Darian Gilliam, aka Black Flags Matter, will be sending me the invite. So, everybody, right now in the chat, who who is your pick for tonight's race? If you got, if, who is your pick for tonight's race? Type it in the chat right now. Who do you think is going to win tonight? And remember, and uh, we currently have 99 people watching, and um, only 15 likes. So make sure you guys lick the like button. So. Yeah, and also thank you to everybody who helped us. Thank you to everybody who helped us reach 2,000 subscribers on the YouTube on this channel last week. It means the world to us, and uh, we hope we can put on a really great show for you guys tonight. Um, despite what, despite all that happened uh, last week, but um, yeah. So in a little bit, um, Darian Gilliam will be sending me the invite, and um, they are about to finish qualifying right now. Um, I'm going to also be checking all the live streams and everything, so so I will be trying my best to stay up to date. So, yeah. And also, okay. And also, another really another thing, really quickly. Um, uh, the race is going to be 27 laps, two times tire wear. You could run about 17 laps on a full tank of fuel. So we may only end up seeing one or possibly two stops in this race. Or if we have a whole slew of cautions, that may that may change up the whole picture as well. But anyway, um uh for bonus points, you earn as 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 I've said last week, you earn one for pole position for the first lap led, if you do one for leading a lap in general, and one for leading the most laps. And everything will all be tallied up at everything will all be tallied up in the in um, everything will all be tallied up, so don't worry. And it will be posted to the to the YouTube uh, to, to to the core um, Weebly website. Um, 
as soon as this stream, I believe, is over, I will actually I will comment below the actual um, website so you guys can check it so so you guys can check it out and also um, check out check out the updated point standings once they are finished. But anyway, um, qualifying has just wrapped up. Um, looks like uh, remember the key is the key is fastest time, not. The fastest, not remember, key is the fastest time. You, it's not about being in that first position. And we got 133 people watching and only 30 likes. Make sure you guys like the like button. Make sure you guys once again lick that like button. Make sh let's get it up. Let's get it up to 50 likes before this race officially gets underway. I'm right now checking all the other streams to see if we are ready to go. And Darian Gilliam will be said to be out the invite momentarily. All right, so... They are okay, so they're all right, so they're officially setting it up for the race. And it looks like Ed Soundhead, he is the Soundhead Entertainment Poll Award winner. I am trying to look for the actual lap time with a speed of 108.508. Ed Soundhead will start on the pole position, and it looks like we got Brendan Littell in the second position, Joey Stone will, re will start in third. And and I think that's the top. I think that's the top three. I think that's the top three. I'll try to look. I'll try to see if I can if I if I can look at every uh, if I can look at everything. Uh, see if everything's all good. So and Dale Reynolds is going to be in fourth. So everybody is now in the loading screen. So here we go. Everybody get hyped in the chat right now. We are about to get. The Martian Sock Puppet 400K underway. Alright, so I am officially, it looks like we are officially in. Yes, and now as you can see here is the, the brief entry list. Here is the, here is the brief entry list. But anyway, but anyway, here we go. And as they are now, they're entering the front stretch, and the green flag is out. Race three of the core league is underway from the Charlotte Roval. And and it looks like right now the six of Brian Pasternak, he goes way wide in turn number one. And Soundhead, he goes to the lead. Looks like with Joey Stone right now in that second spot. More contact as they make their way. And now here they come off a of turn number eight. For the first time, it's Ed Soundhead with the lead. Joey Stone right now running in the second spot. We have Brendan Littell right now in third. And it looks like that's the nine of Joseph Lombard and into SC4 in the ninth spot. That is uh, the number, the to the 20. Oh, it looks like the 20 of Eric Eastep. It looked like he um, he might have messed up the backstretch chicane. It looked it look like there for a moment as the 10. It looks like the no the 14 of Raw Gator will pass him. And and as they're now working their way through the first lap, a lot of drivers have, str have are, are struggling apparently through that. Through that front stretch chicane. As we cycle now back to Ed Soundhead in the lead. Joey's Brett here's Brendan Littell running in third. Joseph Lombard in fourth, and Raw Gator is in that fifth spot. 
Sixth right now looks to be Eric Estep and Dale Reynolds is in that seventh spot as we got side-by-side -side battle for the eighth position. That is between Cody H Gaming and Black Flags Matter. It looks like Black Flags Matter will take that spot and now Brian Pasternak will look to the inside of Cody Hicken. And here comes the 24 of Gabe Barkas. Not too far behind as they make their way down the backstretch chicane. Oh, it looked like... Bre oh, Black Lives Matter! He got... Looks like he, he might have messed up that chicane a little bit. The 18 of Jaron Lewis is also involved. JC1424, as is the 28 of Cody Hicken. We stay under the green flag. Meanwhile, while Joe, meanwhile, while Ed Soundhead and and the other three and and the top three have split have have spread out a little bit, we're gonna take a look at this site at this battle for the fourth position. Joseph Lombard looks like Eric Eastep. He's gonna be looking to the inside of. Looks like he's gonna be looking to the inside. He's there as they enter eight, and he will take that fourth position from N2 SC4 with Dale Reynolds not too far behind. And he'll take over position number five. But here comes Joseph Lombard. It looks like he might get another little run. But that's not going to work. Oh, and look. Okay, then. Well, that's another spectator glitch right there. We apologize on that. But anyway, um, let's look. Let's start. Let's start making our. Let's start looking our way back a little bit. We got Black Flags Matter in the ninth spot. Gabe Barkus in that tenth in that tenth position. He made it through. Oh, looked like he got a little bit into the wall there as he made as he as he was working his way through the front stretch chicane. And Rusty Walrus right now just outside the top ten in that eleventh spot. As we now cycle back. To Ed Soundhead, it looks like he is pulling away from that number 12. He has checked out. And it looks like it's 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 uh, Ed Soundhead and Joey Stone and Brendan Littell. They have all broken away as we're now going to look at this battle for the looks like for would be the fourth position right now. Eric Eastep, Dale, uh, D Dale Reynolds, Raw Gator, Brian Pasternak also involved, also in the mix. Remember, if you le remember, with Ed Soundhead leading those laps, that gives him extra bonus points towards the championship at Atlanta. Oh, and it looks like they it looks like Joseph Lombard and, and a couple others got into the grass there as they make their way down into um looks like six and and turn into six. As I know once once again, Trey Trey Nobile, he'll he passes Dale Reynolds as they make their way now through eight. That looks like that is for that is for position number six. As it looks like Dale Reynolds, he's going to look to the inside once again. As they head their way down the backstretch, he will clear him. And oh, oh, look out. Dale Reynolds, he overshot the, the backstretch chicane. And he loses, I believe, two or three more spots. That is going to put him back to the eighth position. As what if racing now moves into that number seven spot? Meanwhile, looking a little bit further ahead, Eric Eastep, one of the one, one of the one of the one of the major one of one of the fan favorites. A lot of people had him. A lot of people had him winning this race after he dominated the after he dominated the preseason races. From what we've seen, he's having a solid run to start. As Joseph and Joseph Lombard. A solid top five run for him to start to start things off.
couple other dry a couple other drivers are not having some great runs to start one incarnation the daytona 500 champion he's not having a great start and and as already ed sounded is on that front is is already in that in heading down into turn two once again downhill into three and four it's it's already Ed Soundhead is dominating everybody right now as it looks like we may have a possible battle now for the third position between Brendan Littell and Eric Estep. Let's uh let's follow along with it for a little bit. Call it about two car lengths. Call it about two car lengths as they make their way through seven through seven. And now as they as they come off of eight and on to the oval. Oval turn number one, which is technically turn number nine, but I like to call it oval one. Eric e. Step, he looks to the inside. He's looking, he's there. He's he's looking to the inside, but it looks like he's going to have to play a little bit smart right now as they once again head down the back stretch chicane. Oh, it looked like Brendan Littell. It looked like he screwed up a little bit there as Eric e. Step, he's looking to the inside. They both make a little bit of contact. They're both side by side heading down the front stretch chicane. Oh, wow. Brendan Littell holds him off as they head once again into turn number one. We're going to look a little bit back as Eric Eastep, he puts it in there as he will go to the number three position. He boldly passes Brendan Littell for that number fifth position. And it looks like we may have another side by side battle for... Possibly position number five. I'm not sure what was. I'm not sure what that was all about. But from what I've seen, it looked like Joseph Lombard. It looked like he might have gotten. He might have gotten turned there. I'm not sure what happened there, but but we're gonna see. As we now take a look at Jarrett Lundberg, the iceberg. He is unfortunately outside the top 10 right now. He is not having a great run. And what it looks and what it looks like, Darian Gilliam, Black Flags Matter. He's kind of struggling. He's kind of struggling a little bit. He is in the top 10, but he is in that number 10 position as Gabe Barkas looked like he got around him for that ninth spot. As we once again take a look at Ed Soundhead in the lead. He has led every lap so far. As right now, it's Ed Soundhead in the lead. Joe, Joey Stone in that second spot. Eric E. Step in third. Brendan Littell in that fourth spot. And close and starting and you're gonna start to see him creeping into the picture a little bit. That 14 of Raw Gator. He's he's rel he's a relatively good road course racer. And oh yeah, there's another spectator glitch right there. Oh, and it looks like Joey Stone! He looks like it looks like he is in he got caught. It looks like he messed up the front stretch of Kane. That's going to allow Eric Eastep and a couple others to close in on him as well as it's going to be a four-car battle, it looks like, for that number two position. I'm not sure... For those of you who are possibly wondering where Caleb Hoffman is, I'm not sure if he may. I think I don't think he's racing either because right now he is in the he is typing right now in the chat of other live streams. So he is. So unfortunately, I don't think he's racing. But obviously, probably something must have came up. But he is still in the chat right now. As you remember, Caleb Hoffman, he was um. He also has had a little bit of a slow start to his season and so far. And it looks like Dale Reynolds, he has crashed off of the backstretch chicane as N2SC4 goes by.
And as and now pit stops are beginning to happening. We have Brendan Littell and the number twenty of Eric Eastep coming onto the pit lane. And it looks like oh Raw Gator, it looked like he might have he might have messed up the he might have messed up the turn just a little bit. Are there any other takers right now at Pit Road? And it looks like those two are the only ones that have come down Pit, pit Lane. And it looked like possibly Eric Eastep. It looked like he might have taken two tires. So interesting strategy right now being played by Eric Eastep. He's going to see if he can try to make it to the end on Fuel. Right now, do we have any more takers on pit road? Yes, we do. We have Ryan Labonte, one incarnation, and the leader and the and the leader of the race. Ed Soundhead, he is coming into the pit lane. And as it looks and and as it looks to be, it looks to be. That possibly Sloppy Joe might be in the lead. Right now he's got six laps on fuel. So he can so he can stretch it out a little bit longer. See if he can make it to the end completely on fuel. Even if there is a caution that comes out. And right now we got more takers on pit road. The nine of Joseph Lombard into SE4. Gabe Barkas as is the number six of Brian Pasternak. And Rusty Walrus. He's also coming into the pit lane. As they once again, mo once again they motor around the Charlotte Roval. It looks to be that er that Joey that Joey Stone, Sloppy Joe, he is not pitted. He's still not pitted. He's actually about to put Jared Lundberg, the iceberg, a lap down. And here comes Rusty Walrus. He's got those. He's got those. He's got those fresh tires. He's got that fuel. He might, he might pass, he might pass uh, Joey Stone to get his lap back as it, as it looks like. Jerry Lundberg, the iceberg, it looks like he has officially gone down a lap. Unless I am saying this, tef unless I'm saying this definitely wrong. But anyway, we got 168 people watching and only 64 likes. So make sure you guys like the like button as Dale Reynolds sees coming down out of the pit lane as is. The 28 of Cody Hicken. Four tires and fuel. Down and away. 15 seconds for Dale Reynolds. And Joey Stone. Sloppy Joe. He is on the pit lane. Well, let's see what let's see what his stop let's see what his stop is gonna be. He might he's oh oh it looks like he might just make it on fuel. Looks like from what we're seeing he might make it on fuel. Right side tires only. One and a half cans of fuel dropping. Looks like um he might be dropping the tape and it looks like he's gonna drop the wedge. I th I think I think no I think the wedge he's staying the same. And 14.8 seconds. Sloppy Joe looks like for his stop of the race, he is down and away. As Jared Lewis, JC1424, who battled the flu two weeks ago, he's now come he's now come out of the pit lane. Right now, we're going to be, I'm really going to try my best to see who, who is, who is where. So right now, it looks like What If is in the sixth spot, into a C4 in seventh. Dale Reynolds right now is in eighth. There he is right there. Gabe Barkas 
Solid top 10 run for him. He's in ninth, and Darian Gilliam in the 10th spot as Trey Normile, Raw Gator. He's, he's come down the pit lane. We got a nifty little battle here now for the ninth spot. As, uh, looks like Black Flex Matter, he's going to try and see if he can retake that ninth position away from Gabe Barkas. And once again, head down the front stretch chicane. And as I am reading this, it looks like we have 13 laps remaining. So we have officially crossed the halfway mark here at the Charlotte Roval. And it looked like, oh, but what I'm seeing right now, it looked like, oh, Sloppy Joe and Trey Normile look like they made a little bit of contact right now. If only I can, if only I can actually see where they're running. That's what kind of stinks about, that's what kind of stinks about this spectator mode, but yeah, but it looks like Joey Stone, it looks like he's going to, oh, oh, it looks like he's going to still hang on to that spot. And it looks like that's another spectator glitch. So, yeah. It's, uh... Trying to see. Raw Gator looks like is in that fifth spot. So, this right now... So, so Joey Stone right now is in that fourth spot. He's in that fourth spot. So, it looks like it might be What If Racing that's in position number three. Once they once again make their way down this very difficult backstretch chicane, it has played it has played a few drivers so far in this race, including including Cody Hicken, um, it, plus, uh, uh, yeah, Co yeah, Cody Hicken, couple a couple other drivers in was involved as well with that. Right now, we're going to see who right now is in that lead. It looks like it's still Ed Soundhead that will that is your leader. Yes, what if it what if is right now in that third spot and it looks like Joey Stone He's going to see if we can try and take that away from uh, he's going to see if we can try and take that away from um from from Brian Pasternak and Ren Raw Gator right now, not too far not too far behind, lurking in that fifth spot. He's Raw Gator is having a great run today. Had a little bit of a bad break in Michigan. But come but come again to this race. Oh, look like Brian Pasternak and got into the wall. And Sloppy Joe, he will take over position number three. As it looks like it's to be. Looks like it is Brendan Littell. Brendan Littell is in that second spot. Great run for Brent for Bre uh great run for Littell Gator Racing today. Second and fifth right now. They cannot be complaining about that at all. And as it looks like it it still is. Looks like Ed Soundhead is in the lead as we now have less. Then 10 laps to go here at the Charlotte Roval. Now the question is going to start to pop. The, now this question is going to start. It's going to start to play. Is is going to start to come uh, into play. 
Who will make it on fuel? Who will make it on fuel? Will they will other drivers have to pit again? Will they make will they make it all the way? But anyway, type in the chat right now who your pick is to win. Type in the chat right now using the hashtag of your favorite driver. As to who you think will win. As right now, it's Ed Soundhead. He is ahead by 19 seconds. He has dominated this race. He has dominated this race. He has checked out on the field. Ed Soundhead, he has almost run a perfect race. And as, oh, looks like he's trying to, he's trying to get pat, he's trying to get by the 42 of Jerry Lundberg and the 18 of Jerry, and the 18 of Jerry Lewis has lap traffic. And a little bit of contact was made. Oh, look like Jerry Lundberg. Looked like he might have hit that front stretch to Kane. Yes, yes he did. Man, that has got to be disappointing for the Instigator Nation. Honestly, that has to be very disappointing today. But with some, but with a, with with a handful of the drivers not competing today, the whole points just the whole points playoff race. Could potentially shake up. Oh, it looked like Black Flags Matter. I'm not sure if that was another spectator glitch. As um, as we see what incarnation he has struggled badly this race. Nothing is going his way at all as Eric e step pass as Eric e step passes him. And as it looks like right now, Eric e step currently sits in that number ten position. As we now have what looks to be seven laps to go. It's, I think it's going to be, it's, it will be seven laps to go this time by for Ed Soundhead. And it looks like we have, may have a side-by-side -side battle for that second spot between the two Pennzoil cars, Brendan Littell and Joey Stone. As what if racing and and uh, and Raw Gator, they're both closing in. And while all of that is going on, Ed Soundhead has increased his lead to twenty two and a half seconds. And looks like Joey Stone, he's inside. They made a little bit of contact there. As Brendan Littell, he is going to lose four positions. It looks like he's going to lose three positions as he got, as looks like he got body slammed by a couple, looked like body slammed by a couple other drivers, including the six of Brian Pasternak and the 14 of Ron Gator. And it looks like Brendan Littell, after such a, after such a great run, running in that second position, he unfortunately has caught the backstretch chicane. And Joseph Lombard into SC4, he's going to look to the inside. And he'll pass Brendan Littell for the number fifth position. As Dale Reynolds now starts to loom in. Reynolds looking into that outside, but that's not definitely, that's not going to work. Brendan Littell is going to hang on to that sixth spot, but he was running in the second position. Had a top five. He has clearly had a top five car all day long. Going to be a little bit disappointing that, uh, going to be a little bit disappointing. Going to be a little bit bittersweet for that number 22 camp. But, um, but anyway, it looks like, it looks to be that Sloppy Joe is in second. And Ed Soundhead continues to be your leader as we now have... What looks to be five laps remaining. The question remains, who is going to make it on fuel? As I'm looking right now, Sloppy Joe is one lap to the good. Sloppy Joe is one lap to the good. So if anything, so if, so if a caution comes out, well, well, not if a caution comes out, he may possibly, 
might not make it, but he'll be good. But he'll be good as it looks like he might be falling up another spot as Raw Gator passed him for that number two. For looks like for that number two spot, as what if racing now looks to, is now going to try and look to the inside as they head off now into seven. And as as they head off into seven and now back on to that oval. And now Ed Southhead as he crosses the strike. Four laps to go. Jared Lewis will let Ed Soundhead go on by. As it continues to be, and, and Ed Soundhead will pass what a carnation cleanly. As we're gonna look up a little bit now towards the towards a little bit towards the front of the towards the front of the field once again. Raw Gator in second, Joey by Sloppy Joe in third. What if racing in fourth and Joseph Lombard? What a fantastic run for the Lum for the Lombard Nation. They might be possibly getting a top five, but not if Dale Reynolds has anything to say about it. Great redemption run for Raw Gator. Right now in that second spot. Had a very had a very bad break at Michigan, but he has rebounded solidly. As we now have it looks to be three lap it looks like two laps to go now. As we are now going to put the focus on the driver who has dominated this entire race. The number two for power, uh, I think it's uh, yeah for power. I think it's for powerhouse motorsports. Uh, anyway, the number two of Ed Soundhead. He has dominated this entire race. He's had a near perfect race, as a matter of fact. But anyway, now, but anyway, through the through the bank curve, through the final, through, through the backstretch chicane. As they come, as he comes off of the, as he heads down to the final banked curve. White flag in the air, sponsored by Pizza Roll Cup Series. Can Ed Soundhead make it 17 more quarters around the Charlotte Roval for his first ever core league win? As he heads now down, it's a turn number three into four for the final time. Down the main straight, down the little, down the little straightaway, and into five. Another uphill, uphill, up a little bit uphill, and now a little bit downhill as he heads now into turn seven. As he once again, he's going to come now through eight onto the oval for the final time. Ed Soundhead. He is. He got that ver. He got. He's now verified. He's now verified as he makes his way through the backstretch chicane for the final time as he heads off into the final bank curve at Charlotte Rovo. What a perfect race by Ed Soundhead. He is your winner for the Martian South Puppet 400K at the Charlotte Rovo. Congratulations to Ed Soundhead on winning today's race. What an incredible run for that for, for that for that man right there. He is he Ed Soundhead is your winner. He won the poll earlier. And from what it look I think I think. Unless I unless unless I am saying this wrong. Oh shoot! I think I may have messed up there. 
Now this is the last lap. Okay, this is the last lap now. I am so sorry. I wholeheartedly apologize on that. But anyway, down down the down the back stretch she came for the final time. Oh, Jerry Lewis. That's n that he crashes on the back stretch. And Sada not concerned about that at all. And now officially, the perfect race is complete. And so then, he is your winner for the Martian Sock Puppet 400K at the Charlotte Roval. There we go. Oh my goodness, I messed up badly. Okay, I know, I messed up. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, from what it looks like, Ed Soundhead, Ed Soundhead is your clear winner. Raw Gator finishes in second. Sloppy Joe third. What if racing fourth? And Dale Reynolds rounds out your top five as we have a little bit of a side-by-side -side battle going on between N2C4, Brendan Littell, N2C4, he's going to move him. And it looked like N2C4, I'm not sure, he may have, he may have gotten that seventh spot. But here are the rest of the top five. N2C4, it looks like he's gonna, he might get sixth. Brandon Littell, seventh. No. Eric Estep. He, Eric Estep. We are confirming it now. Eric Estep. He finishes in the sixth position. Brandon Littell, eighth. Gabe Barkas, ninth. N2C4, not, it, it, Gabe Barkas, in eighth. Joseph Lombard in ninth, and Darian Gilliam rounds out your top ten. Once again, some rather disappointing runs. We have Cody H. Gaming in 11th, Jared Lewis in 12th, Rusty Walrus in 13th, Jared Lumberg a lap down. In 14th and what incarnation. Unfortunately, he finishes in the last position. Once again, I wholeheartedly apologize that um I wholeheartedly apologize that the um that I that I screwed up on that last on that last on on that whole last lap thing. But um yeah, and this win by Ed Soundhead was fueled by Dolphin Insight Daily. But anyway, um so yeah, I I once again wholeheartedly apologize. That um I miscounted the laps, so so please so please bear with me on that. It's really hard with this spectator mode for me to for me to keep up with uh you know to keep up with everything, but um but anyway um not a lot not a lot happened here tonight at not well not a, well not a lot of uh a lot of strategy did play out. I mean a lot of strategy did play out, but we didn't see a lot of uh of Rex like. Honestly, some of us thought we were going to have. But regardless, it's been an absolute pleasure once again once again broadcasting the race to you. Um to all of you to all of you fans to to not just to not just the core channel, but to everyone in the Blue Jimmy Revolution as well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching tonight's episode for watching tonight's Live broadcast of the Martian Sock Puppet 400K at the Charlotte Roval. The next race, which will be next Friday, will be at the Chicagoland Speedway. That broadcast will begin at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the same time we always do. As, um, as, yeah. So, it all begins at 8 p.m., on my channel, the Blue Jimmy 48 Fan. By the way, if you have not subscribed to my to my channel, Blue Jimmy 48 Fan, um, make sure you do, as I will be as I will be uploading a pre-race show called what as I uploaded the sh as I upload the show called World War Quarter, which uploads every Friday, um, before just one hour before the race officially begins, and also every Sunday, highlighting all the race. All highlighting all the action. It's a great, it's a really great show, and I really hope you guys, um, and I really hope you guys, you do check it out. But anyway, so yeah, that will happen at 8 p.m. Um, Countdown to Green as um for every week with Jack Kraus, NASCAR NBK. That's at 8:45 and at 9 p.m. next, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time next week. That will be for the Chicago Land Race. For race number four of the core league. Hopefully, we will have many more drivers returning. There's actually a few drivers will be returning next week as well. 
So definitely get excited for that. But anyway, make sure you also check out the updated point standings. That will be uploaded on the official Core League Weebly website. Um, make sure you check. Make sure you check that out. Um, yeah, make sure you guys check that out. Um, in a couple days, the points will be updated. So you, so so you guys will, so you guys won't be, uh, so you guys will be up to date with all the points and everything. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching tonight's broadcast of the Martian Sock Puppet 400K. Thank you to everybody who also showed your showed your love for my commentating. It's been an absolute pleasure once again to do this for you for you guys. And um hoping we get to hoping we get to grow this even further in the weeks ahead. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to the core channel, and also subscribe and join the Blue Jimmy Revolution today. And I will see you all on the next video. And also stay tuned for Radioactive that will be uploaded in the days ahead on the Core channel. But for now, take care everybody and have a good night.